Okay, welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkie. He's Dan O'Shawn. Tonight. Today. Tomorrow. This morning and Definitely yesterday. We, uh, Dan, you know what we're gonna drink? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, they, they don't yet. Alberta Rye Premium Jim Murray. Whiskey number one of the year. 2021. Cast drink. In the Bible. Cheers. Intro. Okay. So now that we're back. Okay, I just want to say. Pointed at you now. Oh, Knox hit it. I never re. It's not worth changing now. It's not worth changing now. Just gonna rip it. I mean, it's not. We already shot. You know what? Screams number one whiskey of the year. Yes. Fucking screw top. Okay. That actually turned out better than I expected. Now, can we talk? A Don't spill it. I thought, did you scare? Did you not spill it? Oh, it spilled. Do I smell? No. This, that's, I'm not you. Jim Murray. I think you actually say Jim Murray. Jim be the correct pronunciation. Bill Murray's uh, brother. <laughs> facts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Big facts here. So, okay. this is Alberta Premium Rye Whiskey. Yes. This is the cast strength version. It's we from have Canada. We have the. It's, what was that? 20, the 20 year? 20 year. They release two at a time. I believe they release them like every five years. They don't release them very often at all. This was released in. Early 2020, I believe. Was it? Along with the the 20 year, it was, it was either late 19 or early no, 2020. We don't hate it. I can tell you that. This one's well, amazing. Yeah, you can see there's there's the level. Now, is it a screw top? Yes. Is it a weird, almost cheap feeling glass yeah. thin bottle? It seems like if it was made of plastic, it would have it like makes sense. old crow in there or yeah. something. Yeah. But Maybe some Kesslers. You know what I do kind of like is this label. It looks like a sign, like you'd see in a lab. Like your lab labels stuff like yeah. this, where it's just only information, yeah. no marketing. Yep. They don't pay for marketing. They can't afford it. Now, Alberta Premium retails sixty-five dollars. We paid a hundred hand delivered. Okay. So that makes sense. Um, and we paid a hundred hand delivered in U.S. dollars. Let me yes. rephrase that. So USD, CAD. Alberta sources for Crown. Wait. Alberta sources for Whistlepig. Yep. And another big other one. really big distillery, and I can't remember the name. Whistlepig does Alberta and Iron Walker. Yep. And they used to do MGP. Yep. They source from everybody. Yep. But needless to say, yep. Canadian. This is Canadian rye, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we haven't even said that. There's so much information. I said here. it's Canadian because it's from Alberta. Okay. So I have to read you this excerpt. I read it and I said it's gonna have to be on film. Okay. This we is, haven't even <clears> noticed <throat> the whiskey yet. We're eight minutes in. This is the the. Oh. Here you go. A little breakdown from Jim Murray himself that this should be exhibited in the Museum of Canada because even the smallest <laughs> mouthful simply ejaculates the most rampant, toasty rye nuts known to mankind. Oh, he's using big words. <laughs> <laughs> His vivid description continues. Vivid is a very solid, solid word. Did he say this. erection? No, ejaculates. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> I somehow censored it in my own head. <laughs> oh. Okay, go ahead. Oh my God. Is there more? Um, that's all you really need. Okay, that's the important part. Yep. What is hat? I'm so. I don't know. What I'm to so do. confused. I'm sexually confused. I'm physically, mentally. <laughs> You're just gonna hear emotionally <laughs> chewing. <laughs> like. All right, this whiskey. Oh, it smells like happiness. You know what's interesting? It's interesting to me that the lot 40s never won. When this is gonna win, when this is winning, okay. Because lot forty, maybe lot forty was the other one that sourced from Alberta. That might be the other people. Maybe. But does it say? I highly doubt it. Okay. So, anyways, but they're both Canadian. This is a Canadian rye as well. Yep. At Barrel Peru. Yeah, doesn't say. Those are renowned. Yeah. Those yes. are fantastic whiskeys. I'm surprised if he's such a big fan of rye, Canadian rye at Barrel Peru. I'm like surprised those never won, yeah. because that has been a monster of a bottle for us. We yeah. don't even drink it very often because no, we can't replace, can't replace it. it. It's too fucking good. This smells like syrup in it and pancakes and everything breakfast and deliciousness. And uh, you got to get like the spicy sausage links in there because there's that, that rye spice with the 65% kind of kind of punches you in the nose. It tastes a like bit. a rye, that's for sure. And it's interesting because it doesn't taste anything. That's weird because it is a rye. It doesn't taste anything like MGP. It doesn't have like the dilly. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. super spicy on the nose, I think. Yeah. It's very spicy in the palate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not cool. She's at what, 120, 130. 130. Jeez, oh, 65.1% or something. We had Eagle Rare before this. 
Yeah. That seems like it solid wasn't one high whiskey. enough. Needed Stag Junior before this. Apparently. Didn't know that. You don't get syrup and deliciousness off the I get like a weird, um, like an ethanol -y syrup. Like a boozy syrup. It's, boozy. it's like a, it's like craft syrup before it's finished. What do you mean before it's finished? Like when they're in the, when it's in the boiling thing. Yeah. It smells like that. Okay. I have been in a room in which they were boiling syrup and that's the only reason I'm using this note because I've experienced it twice ever. That is real. Yeah. So it's called sap. Yeah. And you boil that down. When you boil sap, it smells a little like this. You, you take out a lot of water. Because it's a little piney almost. No. It's a little fresh pine. No. Not even close. Spearmint maybe. No. It's like a toasted rye bread. Maybe a rye pancake. Oh. With all the all the maple oh. circle. That would be the worst pancake the of all world. time. It's not that sweet. It smells. Uh, it. I think there's more sweetness in the nose than okay. it is on the palate. The palate, spicy. you get all the spice. Spicy. Yeah. It like immediately goes in the spice and just ramps to 12. Is there some, there's gotta be something like a spite, like it's black pepper on the on the finish. A lot. I almost think it's like a black, a ginger. I, I think it's say. like a black pepper honey. Have you ever taken like a shit ton of ginger in? Never. In? Oh. oh, gross, no. Okay. Disgusting. I am not a ginger man. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, you know, what lingers is it, the black pepper fades away and it gets really sweet, like a honey, so I think it's like honey. Um, it says on the back, balanced with uh, caramel, vanilla, hint of chocolate, balanced with spiciness of rye and black currant. Isn't that a fruit? It's these little berries. I said it was a fruit, you said no. I thought it was just I'm a fucking genius again. It's a shrub. That, well, it looks like Sounds a blueberry. berries. Oh, start, start calling me Elon. Well, I won't be in the video. So, you going behind the scenes? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. So the Lot 40 being, can, I'm not saying they're the same source, I don't know, I can't remember, Wait, but. I, I the can't lot, find any transparency I know, but the Lot 40, point. remember how it has that mint that I get on Thomas it's H. Handy? Tiny I know, but it's not here. No, It doesn't exist here. This is so much spicier. Even if there was mint, it'd just be boiled out by spice and proof. I get salt. Salt. Just salt. Salt. Uh, like the pink one, the Himalayan. Specifically? Specifically the unground Himalayan salt. The crystals. <laughs> Listen, it's not the other kind, not the white kind. What's your grade? If it was 65. So retail is actually 65. I heard it's sold out in Canada now because of Jim Murray. It's very good. $65? Favorite, Free. like, Cast drinks rye. It, it's to, way up there. To me, it drinks just under a special occasion rye. Yeah. Which are but all two hundred dollars. I'm saying, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. All of our really nice rye are in that super high price range. This is sixty five. The cheapest special occasion rye. This bet's so much higher than its price. Everything. Rye. Yeah. Yeah. I, we had a hundred. I was gonna say we a paid a hundred value, and that's so. In my opinion, the cheapest. Special occasion rice, Parker's Heritage, it was 150. Yeah. Then you get the Owls, the Carters, uh, Michter's 10, stuff like that. This is 65 to, let's call it 100. That's insane. The this, longer this is a. in a glass, the fruitier it gets. I give this an A. I think I give it an A too. Yeah, that's a fantastic bottle of whiskey. Now, Jim Murray put it as the number one, the numero uno. I don't know about that. I mean, WW came like third. Second. Third. And then say, oh, say Junior was second. W -W. Nope, sorry, the third one was a Scotch, a Paul oh, John yeah, yeah, or yeah. Indian whiskey or something like that. Whiskeys, yeah. It hasn't come out yet, mind you. Uh, w W came second. Yeah, overall whiskey it came overall. Yep, third. first overall. Sorry, say Junior second overall. Paul John yeah. third overall, and then W. He has like eighty subcategories. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah. Don't worry, he's got it. Don't worry, he's got it. Yeah. All right, so you're A, I'm A. I gave it an A. Knocks you being a fucking Sixty-five dollars, A plus, whatever. Jim Murray. Now, there's always controversy around it. What did Jim Murray put? Seventeen ninety two full proof was mm -hmm. last year. One year he put like a Crown Royal Northern Harvest. We've never had that, but that was a extremely controversial first place. Everybody didn't like that. Kind of it definitely was because it's not the best. No. That's why that's not controversial. It's wrong. This isn't. This is like at least we can talk about it. It's fantastic. Hey, bro. Like M twenty didn't make the list. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, M twenty made it this year. Oh, did it? It won best sixteen and over.
which makes sense. Because good luck everybody else. 16 and 17. over, an M20 crushes that because it's barrel proven fantastic. All right. Never mind. Needless to say, fantastic model whiskey. Damn. Jim Murray, this year, I don't know if it's the best whiskey in the world. That's that's like such a no. hard, <laughs> I can't imagine narrowing that down. That's crazy. Yeah. But that being said, fantastic bottle. I vote yes. A. Buy yeah. it. Like, comment, subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Check out Patreon. Check, Check out Facebook. Out Facebook. It's a lot of fun. We yeah. have an Instagram too. We hit 10K on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Hell pretty, yeah. Pretty fun fam over there. Yeah. It's a good time. Is that it? That's all we got? Who's in the poor? Yep.